automobile consumers in Pakistan pay more than 35 billion rupees annually as own money over and above the price for express delivery of vehicles. This was stated in a research published by the Pakistan Institute of Development Economics. But what is own money? It's a black market premium collected predominantly by manufacturers, new car dealers and their friends as speculators and inside traders. Own money stems primarily from two reasons. One, low supply of vehicles and two, advanced booking. Economic theory suggests that monopolists supply less than market demand even if it means retaining a spare capacity on hand. In simple words, car assemblers have a capacity of 400,000 units but produce only 200,000 a year to ensure a shortage prevails in the market. When some import is allowed, car manufacturers lobby to put restrictions ensuring excess demand yet fail to expand production. Apparently, our infant industry, even after 50 years of production, cannot produce a car to compete with a used imported vehicle. And when import is stopped, instead of expanding production, the local automobile industry increased bookings, leaving consumers to book cars with no guarantee of price and delivery date. Globally, customers walk into showrooms to view and test drive vehicles already on display and purchase immediately if they desire. There is no waiting time for the assembly of the vehicle. Own money has gone on for 50 years. No ministry or government agency regulates it. No one reviews this undocumented economy that sucks up investment funds. The parliament or cabinet has never debated this issue. Consequently, the customers have no voice in the system. So what can be done to make a car market and move away from a car black market that prevails in Pakistan. We've got three points for you to ponder over. Number one, advanced booking must have some rules generally applied to contracts. First, delivery time limits should be imposed of no more than a month at the cost of penalties. Secondly, the price at the time of booking must be considered the final price. Number two, assemblers must operate at a minimum of 80% capacity to ensure that periods of excess demand do not last for more than four weeks. And finally, number three, while disallowing companies to collect advances for bookings of vehicles, the dealers must also not be permitted to commit to a sale of any vehicle that is not available at the dealership. The dealers are the main players and stakeholders in the collection of own money premium and must be dealt with according to the law to curb this exploitation of the consumers.